from Beard Australia Reviews Live, and today we are going to be sampling, tasting, and reviewing a couple of the southwest of Western Australian beers. Uh, these beers are uh, from some of the longer established um, breweries in the southwest region. Uh, we've got the New World IPA from Bootleg Brewing, and also the India Pale Ale from Eagle Bay. Now, um, these are a couple of my real favourite breweries. I really like, especially the lagers from um, uh, from Eagle Bay. Uh, but Bootleg as well is just a really good place to go and visit um, when you're in the Margaret River region. Uh, now, Bootleg itself um, is actually the oldest established brewery in the Margaret River region. It's like over like um, 26 years old now, 27 years old, and it was the very first one that was established of this kind well, anywhere in in Western Australia. Um, so now uh, this is also a place where I visit quite regularly and I've got a little bit of a video from the the last time I went so here goes Bootleg Brewery is one of the venues that I visited with the Margaret River Brewery Tours back in August of 2021 and it's the oldest established brewery in the Margaret River region and it's very well worth a visit give it a try Yeah, so as you can see, I was there on the uh, on the brewery tour uh, in August of this year. So that that was uh, Dicko, our driver, uh, doing the thumbs up or the uh, uh, the peace signs on that one. Uh, it's it's just a really nice place to go and visit. It's one of these places where you can go and have a meal during the daytime. And again, all of these venues that are in uh, the Margaret River region, none of them are actually open of an evening apart from the Margaret River Brew House, which is right next to the um, the town itself. So you've got to go there in the daytime, and, and it's. It's really ideal if you go on uh, on one of the brewery tours. Uh, now, the other um, venue um, as well, uh, or the other beer that we've got today, is from um, the Eagle Bay Brewery. Now, again, Eagle Bay is a, a well-established one these days, and it has like a um, it's a brew pub. It has an excellent venue with um, uh, with views of the ocean from the uh, from the dining room, and uh, it's. Uh, uh, it's actually one of my favourite beers, or sorry, favourite breweries from a uh, just a, a beer point of view. My one of my favourite lagers that they do is just called the um, Eagle Bay Lager, and it's done in like a bohemian style. It's just excellent. Anyway, let's get the beers out of the beer fridge because this is what we do these days. Let me. Uh... Okay, so we got. Yeah, good luck. And we've got. Eagle Bay. Now this is actually going to be the very first time that I've tried either one of these beers. Uh, so I've never tried either one of these. I really like the lagers from um, Eagle Bay uh, and I, I just generally like the um, uh, the bootleg beers uh, just in general because it's just they're just nice beers. So which one should we open first? Let's get the um, okay let's get the bottle opener out the way first off. Always got nerve wracking on live TV. Let's see where's the best way of doing this. Oh, it's pale in colour. Can't tell if there's any cloudiness in this one. Oh, nice head on that one. Looks like a, uh, a clear one. I think I'll let that one settle for a minute or two just to um, go down in the uh, in the glass on that one. Okay. And while we'll wait for that one to settle, I think I'll do the other beer as well. Okay. A bit awkward. So now I don't know much about this New World IPA because there's absolutely nothing on their website, and even on like Untapped and stuff, there's very little information. Uh, it's got the ingredients on there: malt, barley, hops, water, yeast, and vegan friendly. And that's it. There's no other information about this. Doesn't tell you what sorts of um, hops are in there. Now I'm gonna go on the basis that this is probably gonna have some sediment in, and it needs to be poured. Ah, uh, it needs to be poured cloudy. So let's give this one a little bit of a around okay here goes oh crap <laughs> well I wasn't expecting that well good job we have our beer towel around <laughs> oh dear me that's what happens when you go live you don't know what you're gonna get no okay hold on let's get this one poured 
And it looks clear. Oh, it looks looks really nice. Lots of fizz, lots of lots of bubbles in this one. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. I'm being hit now with all of the tropical aromas um, coming out of the uh, coming from the bootleg beer. That's there's loads of tropical aromas coming out on that one. Okay, but to start off. Let's go to the. Um, uh, let's start off with the first one that I opened, which is the uh, Eagle Bay India Pale Lager. Now, I'm not quite sure what makes it an India Pale Lager. Um, I presume that they do a little bit of um, IPA sort of thing with it, but then um, treat it as a lager so that they um, sort of a, a mix of both. But let's give it a go. Oh, it's very citrusy. Quite a deep malt on this one as well. But it's um, I, I know with the um, with the Eagle Bay lagers the taste of them is just um, just always is really good it just knocks you back. Hmm. Oh, right, sharp bitterness. So this one has like big hit of grapefruit on that one. Then uh, I wasn't really expecting the hit of grapefruit. I was expecting this one to be more malty. So I think they um, I think probably they have done. Um, uh, more of a uh, like an IPA um, sort of a uh, a mash on this one. Now let's see what it says from the website. It says um, India Pale Lager is a tasty beer paradise. Yeah, okay. Uh, jam packed with tropical fruit aromas, has the drinkability of a lager with the subtle malt base and more citrusy bitterness and a more moreish citrusy bitterness to finish. I think they've succeeded on this one. I'm, I'm liking Eagle. Well, I, I like Eagle Bay lagers anyway. So the fact that I'm, I'm drinking another Eagle Bay lager and liking it is like not really a surprise to anyone. Hmm. It's very crisp. It's got more bitterness in it than what I was expecting. I was expecting this one to be a bit sweeter. Um, it's got enough aroma, but it it, it isn't um, smack you in the face with the aroma. But then again. Um, right next to it, I've got the um, uh, the bootleg uh, IPA, which just that's got more aroma. Uh, reason why I'm drinking this one first is because this one is just the lighter of the two styles of beers, and this one just um, has just a little bit less aroma in there, so that when I drink the other one, I'll still be able to get the hits. If I drank that one first and came to this one second, I wouldn't be able to taste this one. That that's not a criticism of this. It's just a lighter style uh, beer than that one. So yeah. It's. I like all different kinds of beers. I like a lighter beer. I like a, a big, deep, strong beer. Uh, but this one, I could see myself um, having a few of these um, on a session. Now, it's a little bit stronger than what you would call a session ale. What one is this one? It's 5.8%. Um, so uh, these days I'm, I'm enjoying like a, just a, a lighter bit of a beer. Um, one that's, uh, I prefer a beer that's down around about 3%-ish, 3.5%, just because it's a nice experience having a few beers without being knocked out. Uh, one of the problems with drinking the really strong beers is you have one or two of them, uh, and you then can't go on to have any more. And I, I like drinking beer. You'd have never guessed uh, me doing my beer review channel. So I, I'm just finding these days a lighter beer means that you can just have a couple of them, you can have a few of them uh, one after the other, and it's just a nice experience. So, yeah, so... I'm all for a beer that's 5.8%, uh, but I like a, a lighter beer as well. Okay, so um, Eagle Bay India Pale Lager. Quite a lot of malt, quite a dry bitterness. Uh, it, it's really nice, it's crisp, it's refreshing. Uh, I just wish they made it a little bit lighter. Uh, lighter in alcohol, lower in alcohol. Mm. Yep, yeah. okay. Good beer. Okay, next one up is the Bootleg New World IPA. Now, I've no clue about the hops and things what they make on this one uh, because the information was just very simply uh, not on their website. So when I was checking out on the website, there was just nothing there. There's not even a point in uh, showing a, uh, uh, a shot of the website. But, okay, here goes. Ah, we're getting some tropical aromas on this one. Oh, it's there's a bit of um, 
like pineapple in there, maybe like a little bit of um, passion fruit and mango, but there's definitely pineapple. They've they've hit the spot with that one. That's I I, I don't know what I can't remember which hops they use to create like a pineapple um, aroma on the beer, but they've uh, they're definitely using um, those hops in this one. Um, the more you smell it, the sweeter it gets. Mmm. Okay. Oh. Got a bit of dryness in it, but it's um it's very smooth. I was expecting a bit more tang on this one. I was expecting to be hit with a little bit of grapefruit, but it doesn't seem to be that way. There is a tiny little bit of um hint of grapefruit from the citrus, from the citric acid in there, but not as strong as some. Hmm, okay. Um, now I'm liking this beer, but I'm preferring the um, uh, I'm liking the bootleg, but I'm preferring the Eagle Bay this time around. So yeah, your page your money, you take your choice. But uh, either one of these beers, I would love to have um, while I was sitting out on the um, uh, in the beer garden at the venue. Uh, either venue, go and visit. The food of both of them is absolutely excellent. Uh, the hospitality is excellent as well, and uh, the. Um, uh, the bootleg is a bit more down to earth and rustic, whereas the um, Eagle Bay venue is a more modern place. It's a re it's like a purpose built um, restaurant in there. It's just a, it, it's it's just a a nice experience when you walk in, and the view from Eagle uh, from Eagle Bay Brewery as well is excellent. They've got a view of the uh, the Natural East Bay, um, and you, you never know you might be sitting there one day and see some whales. So yeah, it's that sort of a place. So, Let's give this one another go on the um, bootleg New World IPA. Mm. Okay, it's it's a bit subtle that one. I'm preferring, I think, the India Pale Lager from Eagle Bay. Ah, this one's got more character. This one just has a bit more going for it. Different sort of character. This one is more malty. It's got like a uh, a deeper malt in there. Oh, I'm getting I'm getting now a lot more bitterness. The bootleg was the last one I tasted, and the bitterness is going all the way around right now. So, uh, it is. It, it's a good beer. It's a complex beer. It's one I would definitely have if I went to the bootleg in brewery, which I will be doing again in, a, in another couple of months. I'll be having some of that when I get there, and also trying all of their others. But. Um, if I was doing a comparison and like a uh, a head to head on this one, the Eagle Bay is going to be the winner today. Oh. Mm. Ah. Okay, yeah, that's just that's just a nice beer. Um, this also is another little is an interesting little thing because, um, a couple of years ago, all of the breweries in the region in the southwest of uh, WA were putting their beers into bottles. And um, the last time I went to Bootleg, even just a few months ago, uh, they were selling bottles. Goes this time round, and they've swapped over from bottles into cans. And the same thing has just happened with um, Eagle Bay. So um, I bought these beers in August whilst I was there. Well, where are we right now? We're in the middle of November. So they've been sitting in my beer fridge for a little while. Well, they were sitting in the other beer fridge. This is my new beer fridge. Um, but Eagle Bay have now transitioned over away from bottles and into cans. Now the thought on this one is that uh, because the can doesn't allow any light to come through the, um, uh, obviously it's opaque, it doesn't allow any light to um, affect the beer, that the beer stays fresher for longer. Uh, this is why so many beers these days that used to come in bottles uh, is coming in a can. Now 30 odd years ago uh, I would reluctantly drink a beer in a can because it was usually the more down market beers that came um, in a can but these days the upmarket beers come in a can and the beers are getting just better because of it okay so there you go in the, right in the middle of the transition uh, from the old style bottles to the new style cans and yep yeah, in one beer review anyway okay let's just see if there's anyone has a chat on this one still love the view okay thanks roger not sure to be yet. I uh, love the VB fridge. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um. Right. So. Um. I've got Chris from. Um. I always get it the wrong way around. Brewshed Project Maylands. Did I say it the right way around this time? Maybe. <laughs> and also Roger the Pirate. Um. On that one. Okay. Uh. What I'm going to do on this one is I'm going to end this one. Uh. If. 
Um, so if anyone's at the um, Fremantle Beer Festival tomorrow, I've got um, Saturday night tickets. Uh, I'll be heading over to a few of the breweries that I need to hit up. I've also um, got a big shout out to Joe uh, from the Margaret River Brew House. Yep, yeah, thanks for getting in touch, Joe. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, so, yep. Uh, bootleg New World IPA. Uh, Eagle Bay India Pale Lager. Both good beers. I prefer though the um, uh, prefer the Eagle Bay on this one. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to wrap that one up now. Thanks for watching.